Ambulance Switch Queensland was first inspired by two paramedics in Harvey Bay who took a person to, on their final wish, to the beach to look at the ocean one last time. In addition to that, there was a community member down in the Gold Coast who was from the Netherlands and International Ambulance Wish was founded in the Netherlands. And she'd seen it on Facebook and she came to meet with us and asked if we could look at starting this in Queensland. We were supported by the Health Minister and Queensland Ambulance Service to get this off the ground back in 2019. And we fulfilled our first wish in July 2019 with Betty, who wanted a passion fruit ice cream. I think it has a huge um, place in the community. I think it's really important that when people are in palliative care, often they lose hope and to take them out of that place and give them something to really smile about um, is enormously helpful and I'm sure that, uh, that it must do so much for their, for their health, certainly their mental health. And so I think if we could expand uh, so that as many people as possible who are in palliative care uh, could experience an ambulance wish, it would be wonderful. I chose to volunteer with Ambulance Wish because I actually went on the very first wish with Betty and I found it such an amazing experience that um, I just had to be part of it. It was, um, it gave a lot of joy to Betty and to myself and um, yeah, I just felt like I needed to, to keep going with it. I think it's a very important part uh, out in the community because it actually shows a sign of palliative care that a lot of people don't see and uh, it, it gives the opportunity for the families and especially the, the patient the recipient to have that final wish and make some memories with their family at the end of life which is so important to be able to leave those memories behind. It's my opinion that uh, our Western society probably isn't, in, isn't as in touch with, with death as we should be and I think that it's, it's really important that people are able to be comfortable with people who, who are dying. Um, and so interactions with, with terminally ill people enable me just to, just to comfort those people, to show them, show them kindness, to show them an easy way. Because I, as I heard a doctor quote one day, um, we're all entitled to have a good life, but we will show, also should be entitled to have a good death. And I think that's good quality palliative care enables these people to have a good death as well. And uh, uh, the wish that I've just been on with a gentleman who was able to watch himself on the screen as a, as a super fit 18 year old kicking goals in football finals, um, just the look on his face to, um, that he's able to, to experience the fact that he had a great life and, and have a few smiles and, and meet people. It's so important and that's, that's why I really enjoy the work. Working in palliative care, I see people all the time that would really love to do stuff outside of the ward or families that would like to be able to take their relatives um, out and do activities. And it's just so difficult for them to do that when they're bed bound and not able to easily be put into a wheelchair. So it's a, an amazing experience for people to be able to do one last thing outside of a hospital. But I find working with with Ambulance Wish as a volunteer, um, I'm happy to be able to spend time with my patient, to sit with them, to talk with them. Um, I've taken patients to the Botanic Gardens and sat quietly with them, had a cup of tea while I had lunch and watched the birds landing on the water and enjoyed that time with their family. And so my time, I'm more than happy to give my time to give these people uh, that, sort of, that sort of joy.